For many students in rural areas of our state, access to higher education can be a challenge. But an Arizona high school is changing that through athletics. We traveled to Rio Rico High School where students are finding success beyond their small town. Every day begins and ends like this. For Carlos Villarreal, running is his motivation. These legs have taken him from Mexico all the way to the University of Arizona, where he's one of the fastest on the school's cross-country and track team. Villarreal was born in Mexico. His parents moved to the U.S. when he was six, wanting to give him a better education. But Villarreal says he remembers the challenges. The toughest part for me was having to learn English. It was definitely tough because I could not communicate with a lot of the kids at school. But school became his haven and running his salvation. It was here at Rio Rico High School where Carlos became the athlete he is today. The school is just a marathon's distance run from the Mexican border. Athletic director Jonathan Chavez says their location in a rural area means they're often underestimated. You know, a joke from across the state is, what, what do you guys feed? What do you guys feed feed your kids in Rio Rico? What do you guys? What do they drink in Rio Rico? The kids are kids. If you develop those programs and you have the right coaches in place and you have the right people on the bus and they're all going the right direction, then you know anything's possible. Beyond athletics, the coaching staff here helps students in the classroom too, helping them achieve their goals outside of this small community. We just believe that our kids, despite being rural and um, a little bit removed from, from some of the bigger universities, um, that they're more than capable of doing it if they just have the right guidance. That guidance has led over 50 Real Rican athletes to pursue a college career since the school opened in 1996. Oscar Amaya also found running was his ticket to a university. Coached by Shadler at Rio Rico, he's now a track and cross country runner at Arizona State. He tried to push me and my teammates to, to email coaches, to email universities, you know, so we can expand our horizons and not just stay in our town. Amaya also came to the U.S. from Mexico without speaking a word of English. He attended school in the U.S. while his parents lived in Mexico. It was still really weird to live somewhere else in someone else's house and not be able to see my parents every day. So, I mean, it was a tough experience, but, you know, I made it. <laughs> and he's not finished yet. He's working toward getting into shape for a busy cross-country season. Villarreal is already breaking records at U of A, running a mile in under four minutes. <laughs> Their legs taking them far from the country they were born and down a successful path. All thanks, they say, to the support, training and encouragement they received at Rio Rico. They're all very supportive because they know how hard it is to make it out of like a community that's so small. Everyone just sort of rallies around that and supports getting out of high school, like go above and beyond and that's just a great community to be a part of. Our full multimedia report will be coming to cronkitenews.azpbs.org tomorrow.